like this height. I really do. I think this is going to be the height. If not, just a hair shorter so I can put a pillow under my legs and put my legs up while I work. And that might be a better deal. My legs are starting to bother me, so I'm being down when I have them down for long periods. So if I made it just a hair shorter, where I could toss a pillow like that up under them, and I wasn't elevated, which means almost dropping it three inches realistically. Hmm. Good question, good question. The only other thing I could do is keep it this height. I just put throw a towel up there, some sort of padded towel or a thinner piece of foam may work much better, or a regular pillow even, a smaller pillow up there. I'm not sure. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. What do you guys think? I'm thinking this is the right height here, though. I really do. I think maybe 15 just so they all match. Um, and I can screw them all in the same same height. Which is really not going to drop it any once we add our, base, our feet to it. So let's take it back out. And we're going to cut all the legs at 15. What are you doing in here? Come back out there with me. Let's go. Let's get going here. Okay. Now our 15 is this one here. And it's not quite all the way down in there. And I can't get it back out, so I need to actually flip it over and put the jagged side. Well, I don't really have to put the jag side in. I do have to get it flat. Okay. Because then we're going to screw this on and measure our height. So we're putting this one back on. We need to measure the height of this one. And then the rest will get cut to that length. We don't really know what that length is. We know it was 15, but we don't know what it is off the deck important part, the highest ridge. So the highest ridge on this one is actually on the back side. And oh, that's coming in right at 17. Huh. Now that I got it pounded, I don't know how, but I guess the extra bit, make sure they're all at 17. 17. That one's slightly higher than 17. This one is 17, it's slightly higher than 17, like 17 and a quarter, let's see, 17 and an eighth, okay, this one's just slightly under 17, what we may need to do, make ourselves a little jig, and then cut these all off the same. We'll see. And if we did that, what we would want to do, take them all out. And lay them all side by side. Because one of the worst things is, if you notice, all our edges, especially like where it broke and whatnot, are not lining up correctly. Getting sick of knocking you guys over, though. Need a better camera holder. other one better. It's got an aluminum base. Come on. All right. Try turning them first, and if they don't turn, then I start to wiggle them. And then it comes out. Okay. So 
if we turn these around and look at them, our cuts really kind of suck. Okay. Let's take a look. I want you to see what the tool does. So none of these cuts are straight. What I'd like to do is recut all of these so they're all perfectly flat. And we can actually do that. Let's, uh, let me show you where we're going to do that at. All we're going to do with these is trim them. Okay, we're going to trim them. And luckily I've got a tool here to do that with. You don't always luck out, do you? Right here. This saw should all be set up, ready to go. And all we're going to have to do is slide that blade over it.